Hey everyone, I'm Dan from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Fabia Mantwell, Berlin-based composer, arranger, saxophonist, and vocalist. Fabia is here to show us how to expand upon melodic material. Thanks, Dan, and hi, everyone watching. Uh, yeah, today I would like to focus on one big parameter in a composition, which is the melodic material. For this, I would like us to have a look into one of my compositions called Pugic. So I came up with a tuba phrase that I liked a lot. And the first thing I applied was the question answering idea. So for the answering phrase, I took the first same five notes, but came up with a different end of the phrase and also changed the rhythm, which means instead of starting on one, the answer phrase starts on one end. Also, the choice of instruments supports the question answer idea. Let's have a listen. So the second idea is to try out different counterpoints or come up with a second voice or harmonize your melody. So the first thing I added was a mel melodically different line with the same rhythm. And I added sort of a bass line to make it more bouncy, uh, which hits after eight bars. And in the context of the composition, it sounds like this. <laughs> For the second part of the piece, um, I used uh, 12 tone techniques and I shortly want to explain uh, three different approaches from this 12 tone technique. To make it easier to understand, uh, I wrote our main melody in its prime form without any particular rhythm. So that's what you can see on the first line. The second uh, version or approach that we have is called retrograde. So this is the prime row in reverse order. So it means we start on the last notes of our melody and go backwards. The third or the second option we have is called inversions, which means that we take the intervals of our prime row and invert them in our new row. So for instance, the first interval is a fourth. And instead of going down, we start from the A, but go up a fourth. And it continues throughout the whole melody and it gives us a full new melody. The last one is called retrograde inversion. And for this one, we take our inverted row in retrograde, starting our inverted row on its last note. So coming back to my composition, I used the retrograde of my prime melody and changed the meter into a 5-4 bar to give it some new flavor. So I changed a one note, which I marked blue, replaced the original D with a C in the second bar. And that's something that I want to mention at this point. Using those techniques can really give you some new inputs and ideas, but feel free to experiment and use them as a starting point. But, you know, take the freedom to change them up to serve the music at the end. approach that I quickly want to mention here is uh, that we also can use the concept of changing up rhythms, meters, or accent your phrase differently. So that's what I did to sort of create a coda of the piece. I condensed the melody in a 3-4 bar, I changed up the accents, and I referred to the first ideas of uh, the question answering principle. So let's have a listen to the coda. <laughs> So as you can see, there's a lot of great possibilities to explore one particular phrase or melody that you like. Uh, so I really want to encourage you to dive deeper into your melodic material. 
if you want to have a listen to the full composition, which also features two awesome soloists, Kurt Rosenwinkel and Niels Landgren, you can check it out. Uh, it's on my new record, Empyreance, which got released May 2021. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson and you got some value and inspiration out of it. And thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. To watch our full length events and participate in live Q and A's with our presenting artists, head over to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks and we'll see you next time.